uh, they're actually very pragmatic and very practical. So direction would just be maybe change the rhythm here or make this word mean this. Uh, so there, there, there wasn't anything too weird or goofy. Uh, yeah, you know, as, a, as an actor, you, it's mostly a job of, of, of rejection. You, know, you have to get used to that very quickly. And so, yeah, that, that frustration that you feel like you have something to express but people aren't interested in, in hearing it, that's definitely something that I could relate to. Uh, yeah, th there's about ten songs in the film and we, we shot it like a concert film, meaning we did it all live, there was no playback, there was no lip syncing. So all the music that you see, apart from two of the songs um, uh, um, played by a, a couple of groups, uh, all was done live in the moment. And, uh, and that required me learning this particular style of guitar playing called Travis picking that I, I didn't know beforehand. Uh, which is quite syncopated and difficult, but, but now I'm completely hooked on playing that style. And, and it allowed me to delve into this amazing uh, repertoire of music that I, I wasn't aware of, this time before Bob Dylan and after Pete Seeger and Woody Guthrie, this incredible time uh, that was happening here in New York. Uh, uh, amazing artists like Dave Van Ronk and Karen Dalton. Well, it, it, it gives us a plot, which is important, otherwise nothing would happen. Um, but I, you know, the cat, the, that's what's amazing about the Coen brothers, is they, they, their instincts always lead them to choices that have so much meaning. And, uh, you know, the cat is, does so many things. It immediately undercuts the seriousness of, of this guy who's trying to be so authentic. Uh, it, makes, it makes him responsible for something that's very vulnerable. And it also, you know, is, uh, is he, it, this cat's going on the same journey that he is.